El Capitan. Hey, that was my line. You stole it. Hello, everybody. My name is Oliver Leopold. So I got my hands on a beta version of El Capitan, the new version of Mac OS X. Yep, OS X El Capitan 10.11 on my MacBook Air mid-2013. Okay, I'm just going to go over some really cool features that I found that you might not have heard of, you might have heard of, and you might just want to see in action. So the first one is Spotlight. So the first thing I can do is I can say I want to go see Apple stock. That's not enough for me. Uh, I want to expand it or I want to compare this to my notes so I can actually move the spotlight window which is not really something I think anyone really considered would be a big deal but it's actually pretty useful it goes away after you touch away from it I thought it would be more of a window but it's not unfortunately but I can also have more natural so like show me emails from Google so show me emails from Google from a year ago and as you see this was one year ago pretty much yeah because it was 2014 so that's just more natural searches I can also say like what will the weather be like and it won't tell me but work in progress a plus our next one is mail so let me just launch up mail for you okay so this is my inbox I never knew I had that many emails because I don't it just can't update also because I have like 5,000 archived but whatever so I can do the same thing here as I did before I can say show me emails from mom from Mary from a month ago okay so as you see this is 519 right now it's 6 13 so that's pretty much a month ago or also I can say show me emails from where's an email I haven't read okay just show me emails that I haven't read there's an unread email boom that easy so you see ah continue so as you see just a lot more natural typing so also show me emails that I haven't read Next up is Safari, which I'm actually considering using now. Um, so let's head over to Twitter. So here's my Twitter. Uh, I'm gonna make a new one, no, not a, a new tab, just for demonstration. Now, as you see, I just pulled the Twitter, I don't know why it's doing that. I just pulled the Twitter over to here, and now that's pinned. Again, I don't know why it's not showing the picture, but that's pinned, which is really awesome. Also, say there's a video playing um, that I don't want it to play because I'm, say, in Twitter, and I don't know why it's playing. I have this new sound button, and I can mute it right away, and I can see what is making that noise, which is awesome. That's a cool feature because there are a lot of ads that play noise without your consent, if you know what I mean. The next one that no Apple person ever talked about was Disk Utility. The only difference is it's really just decorated a lot differently. Yeah, it just has a nicer design. Something they should have done in Yosemite, but they finally got around to. Now, something that Windows 8 has had for a while that Apple just picked up is multitasking. So, let's say I wanted to see my emails and look at my Twitter at the same time. I would hold this, put that in there. It would give me two options of what is open, notes or email. I'm gonna tap on email and now I can use both. I can look at my Twitter feed while also looking at my emails. I can also interact with either of them. Again, like show me emails from whatever and search Twitter here. So that is awesome and you can also adjust it right from the middle. In addition, it makes its own desktop for it and just close out of one of the windows to make the other full screen and close out them both to cut them both. Talking about the mission control, it got a new look and pretty nice if I do say so myself. Also, let's say I just want to make this its own desktop, I can do so and launch it right away. 
Next up is notes, which I've been actually using for this entire video. So it's no longer just normal text. What I can do is actually make all sorts of different text options. I can add pictures. I can add these checklists. So I don't know what window just popped up, but whatever. Um, I already did Spotlight Mail, Safari, Disk Utility, Multitasking, and I'm doing notes. So that's really an awesome feature and making it more like the Reminders app. Finally, two things that I can't really show you, but I can tell you about. So they introduced Metal, which is a feature of iOS, now for Macintosh, which is awesome. So what Metal does is makes your gaming experience like 1.2 to 8 times better, depending on all sorts of computery stuff, but it will really help video editing if you're a video editor, the rendering time and all of that, and also help your gaming experience because Apple wants a share of gaming experience because we all know Mac isn't a go-to gaming computer. And the final thing, who will be getting El Capitan in the fall? So anyone with uh, almost any Mac after 2009 and some Macs from 2007 and 2008 are supported. You can look at the Wikipedia page for El OS X El Capitan for the full list of requirements. Basically, if you've gotten a new Mac in the last, say, six years, you'll probably be able to get this new amazing update. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you in the next video. I shouldn't have closed that. At that very time, Oliver thought all his footage was gone. Was it? It's okay. Peace. Bye. And they all lived happily ever after. No, no, no. That's that's not how... Yes, they all lived happily ever... No, no, no. There's still a lot of bugs. And they all lived happily ever after the end.